Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. Today, we're gonna look at Colorcast. I'm trying a new tool today, guys. So please do let me know in the comments below whether it has been helpful or not. I hope that it is better than the previous ones and we will soon see. If you haven't already, please do press the subscribe button and click the bell icon. The bell icon helps you out because it gives you a notification every single time I upload a video. I upload every week and sometimes more than that if I feel like it and if I have time. If you want to do me a solid, I have recently become monetized, which is the weirdest thing in the world, but that will make me be able to buy things like this new piece of software to make the videos better. So if you can, please do sit and watch the YouTube adverts. That would be great. Let's look at Colorcast. I've got a picture up here. It is a one that you will already have seen, but I have left the color cast in. So there is casting on the dog over here. We're gonna go through three different ways of removing color casts. Each one has its merits. Two are very, very similar. And the third is my personal favorite if we're working with a dog that is not black and white. Hence why I have chosen Rioja. Rioja over here does have some green coming through into the coat, which is reflected from the moss that was everywhere around here. So we're gonna look at that. We're also gonna look at a couple of other images and see where we go. So the first tool is the one that most people will know. It is the desaturation method. The desat method, essentially, you wanna be in your layers tab over here. If you can't see layers, window, layers, a pop-up will come up, click and drag it over into this area. When you've got that, you wanna be down here in the adjustment layer section. You wanna click on that, which will bring up the adjustment layer menu. In here, go for hue and saturation, and that will come up in the properties tab. Within the properties tab, if you can't see that, again, window, properties, click and drag. With the properties tab up there, bring your saturation right down to minus 100. Makes it a lot easier to see. And then you want to invert your mask. So click on the mask and then press Command and I. If you have a Windows computer, that's gonna be Control and I. Works exactly the same. So with this black layer, we now need to go ahead and paint. So I'm gonna press B on my keyboard, which will bring up the brush tool or click on the brush tool over there. It's very important that your palette is set to white and black. So if it isn't, press D on your keyboard, which will reset that to black and white, or white and black, like I just said. Because this is a black layer, because we've inverted it, we need to go ahead and use white to make it visible. So on your keyboard, to make your brush bigger, smaller, hold down Control and Option on a uh, Mac, and then click and drag. Right makes it bigger, left makes it smaller, up makes it softer, and down makes it harder. We've been here before in the full edit video, which I will link above. With a brush selected, you wanna make sure, sorry, that you're on 100% opacity. So if you're not, say you're on 55, you can just, you know, press zero on your keyboard and that will bring that up to 100. Go ahead and paint. I'm gonna do this very quickly and very roughly to cover the areas of the dog which have cast. Would suggest with a dog with white on it to go over any white areas with this brush tool. But what do we do when we get to somewhere like this over here where the actual selection is a bit of her coat and then the white coat, that's gonna be a bit of a trouble for us. So we're just gonna to have to just paint and then work it out later. So this is the area that had the most of the casting. We're just kind of gonna go over that um, and try and bring back bits that should not be desaturated, like the tongue, for example, shouldn't be desaturated. And very, very roughly, as we can see here, just kind of brush over the area. So now we've got a very strange looking animal, but if we click on the adjustment itself, we can bring back up the saturation a bit and also drop the opacity. So we've kind of addressed it, but this looks a bit strange because not only have we removed the cast, but we've removed the color as well. And uh, I mean, to me, that doesn't look particularly natural. So you would have to bring the opacity down to a point where it looks natural-ish. Even then it's not brilliant. Um, and then you've reintroduced the color uh, differences into the coat. So that's method one, works great for black and white dogs. 
not particularly great for anything with colour and therefore you also need to know method number two and three. Method number two is one that uh, I've seen covered. I personally have seen, I think on Flern or Pix Imperfect's channel, shout out to them. And you want to duplicate a layer or just have a spare layer handy from your working layer and then press Command and I to invert the actual layer. And then we look very, very strange, but it's okay. In this case, you would repeat the mask process by selecting a mask, holding down Alt if you wanted to, to get a black mask, and then do exactly what we just did. Because we've already done that, I'm just gonna copy it. So I'm gonna hold down Option and I'm gonna click and drag my mask. Click Yes. And now we look even stranger, but don't worry guys, because then the next thing we do is we change the layer style. You can change it to hue or color. Both of them are very, very similar. In fact, I don't know if there even is a difference in this situation. I go with color. And then if you bring your opacity down, 50% is black and white. So that's it's literally exactly the same as the desaturation layer. And if you bring it down further, you're essentially doing a lighter desaturation, slightly more tonal sensitive, but has pretty much the same results as the desat layer. So mm, again, great for black and white, not particularly good for anything else. So what do you do? And the next option is to use your adjustment layer tool again, go in there and click photo filter. A standard, it will apply a warming filter, which is beautiful, but not what we're doing here. Very, very, very important to click on the layer adjustment itself, not the mask whilst doing the next step. If you don't do that and have the mask selected, you will not get very far after this point. So click on that and then click on the color picker, which comes up here. So once you've clicked on the color picker, we now have a new little window that's come up and within here, we want to select the cast. Now in most situations, you would select something that has the cast on it. But in this case, I've personally found that that's not the best way because if you do that, you also pull all of the color that you wanna keep out of it too. So what I found is the best way is to use your color picker and click on a color that is being cast back. So in this case, the green of the moss is being cast back. Once you've clicked on that, this will change and the color that comes up in new is the color that you've just picked. So within here, you've got some options. You've got hue, saturation and brilliance or brightness. You've got red, green, blue. You've got CMYK. You've got the hex code of that color. And you also have this little bit over here, which everybody ignores, but it's super important. Now, A and B. A and B are the color values to find it in the, in the color picker there. So what we want to do is invert them. To invert them, you literally make the minus a positive and the positive a minus. So in this case, we've got minus nine. We're gonna remove the minus to make it plus nine. We've got plus 44. We're gonna add a minus to make it minus 44. That makes it the complete inverse of the green color to a certain level. So click OK on that. That will give you this new color up here. If you increase the density to no more than 50%, that would be advised. Things look strange, but hang on because it's pulling out the green and the yellow. So if we copy our layer mask again, holding down Alt, clicking on the layer mask that we want, putting that in there and clicking OK, we have essentially found a middle ground between the DSAT and the color cast. Now it's still a little bit too strong for me. You can click on your adjustment itself, pull the density down on the correction there, or you can bring your opacity down if you wanted to. If you've noticed it's left in the red because blue doesn't handle red. So what it actually does is it handles mm, kind of like a yeah, kind of yellow, kind of into the green because it's slightly purple. So uh, yeah, that what that's done is that's taken the cast. Now if we zoom in on her face a little bit, we can just pull that down a touch more. And we actually have, if you look at the colors involved um, in here, at this side, they do mirror quite similarly the colors at this side. Now there is still some little bits of cast over here. You can bring up your brush tool and just brush that on there. And what that does is it's just targeting the color of the cast. So you can go on with a lighter brush, you can change your opacity up and down, you can do whatever you wanna do but it won't cover all of the colors. 
It's one of the other ways of doing it. There is another way, but we're not going to cover that today because it's far too complicated. And to be fair, I never use it because it's just too much. That involves using channels to manipulate the colors that exist within the image, but this is one of the easiest ways. So with using this photo filter tool, it takes slightly longer, but you do get a um, calmer and more realistic approach. You could marry that up with a hue sat adjustment um, and the hue sat adjustment you could go ahead and just I'm just going to remove it from this area here so if I remove that just from there the hue sat is now just targeting this area here I would use it with care not too heavy and that is a good finish over on this image here we've got a heavy green cast on the underside of him and we also have some weird colors going on in his face but the green actually is one of the most powerful channels so if I put the photo filter on there we have just softened it off you could make that slightly more dense if you wanted to but I would use with caution then you have this image here I've got all three set up on this particular picture so we've got the hue sat which pulls all colors out of the coat um, it's also covering his ears but don't worry about that too much at the moment then we've also got the inversion option which does very very similar result uh, to the hue sat and then we've also got the photo filter which is just a softer way it's still quite severe but it's not as severe as a hue sat or an inversion so guys I mean that's it for today if you can please do press the subscribe button and click the bell icon the bell icon will help you out because uh, it gives you a notification every single time I upload a video and it would be really nice if you could join us on Instagram as well so if you can please do go ahead and find us on Instagram and I will see you all again super soon Thanks so much for watching, really appreciate it.